many of us are just convinced that John Chabot doesn't like to go home. Yeah. <laughs> His, lo his family's lovely, though. They really are. Um, and he knows the names of most of his children. Um, you know, I've been coming to this event for the last what, six or seven years since we started it. And uh, almost always, they have me talk about some complex operation for uh, a malignancy that most institutions can't remove. But today, I have a much more pleasant task. I get to introduce a truly remarkable woman who I met in 2005 when I operated on her husband for pancreatic cancer. Um, uh, she is uh, a great dog lover, and she volunteers her time in animal shelters. She is an avid fan of both the Jets and Bruce Springsteen. Um, she has tremendous enthusiasm and passion, but in 2005, that, uh, uh, that all changed, and she's funneled that enthusiasm and passion into advocacy for her husband and for patients in general with pancreatic cancer. Just to give you an idea of the scope of this, uh, involvement. She, she and she and Ralph are part of the team with uh, PanCan and their advocacy group that helped get Resolution 733 passed in the House of Representatives. That's the Recalcitrant Cancer Research Act, and it's does. That means multiple trips to Washington, D.C., a meeting with multiple congressmen, um, and it's designed to help increase the funding for pancreatic cancer research. Um, and, uh, you know, sitting here today, having been through this, you know, multiple times, Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Day, has been, is the best one that I've seen ever in listening to the patients and tell us, tell us what, their, what their experience has been like. And so it's, it's my distinct privilege and honor to introduce, you to, introduce to you today uh, Mary Ann Cheney, who's going to talk to us about survivorship. 